So I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Oh wait, that's what Kesha said. She also said that she brushes her teeth with a bottle of Jack. But we're not going to do that yet, because it's uh, early in the morning, and we're going to have some coffee. I like to start with stimulants. Uh, this is a good blend, but I don't view coffee as being really unhealthy or a cheat item because it's something I have every day and I just drink it plain. Uh, no cream, no sugar. However, for breakfast, let's have some cookies. Uh, you know, I'm eating vegan all day. Uh, these are vegan. It's important, right? It means it's healthy. Uh, well, that's a stretch because there's a lot of refined sugar, refined flour, uh, probably white flour in this. So a lot of refined ingredients, a lot of sugar, uh, hitting the system, we call these empty calories, but they are delicious because I like something sweet with my coffee. I think I'll have both of those. One of my nicknames growing up was the Cookie Monster. Mmm. We'll microwave those to get them nice and soft and gooey. Ah, so the stimulant of caffeine here. Coffee's the lifeblood. Alright, open the hatches, let the coffee in. Mmm. Knock it back. It's the first thing I'm having in the morning, but then I'm having these with my coffee here. Mmm, 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 So good. Mmm, that chocolate melts on your tongue. So there's breakfast. Don't worry, I'm gonna finish this off. So a lot of refined flour, a lot of refined sugar. Chocolate's good, right? <laughs> there's also uh, a lot of like oils. Oils like uh, margarine, because I said they're vegan cookies, but uh, so pretty high fat, high sugar combination. Not good for the insulin system, really. So, you know, people throw out buzzwords like the cheat day or, you know, this, this bad food diet to go off the rails or something. I don't really believe in that. I eat foods that are unhealthy a little bit, sometimes every day. And I do eat vegan, uh, but that doesn't always mean I eat healthy. It's not, it's the difference between a vegan diet and a whole foods plant-based diet, right? Whole foods plant-based meaning eating less processed foods, eating more fruits and vegetables, whole grains, versus... If I just ate vegan chocolate chip cookies and vegan ice cream all day, I was eating 100% eating vegan, but it's not good for you, right? It's a lot of empty calories, and I don't mean to be strict with my diet. I don't see it like that. I don't see it as leaving things out. I just see more of eating in a certain way uh, and trying to keep my body hydrated, give my body the most amount of vitamins and nutrients per calorie. Now we're not doing that today because we're eating what we call empty calories and that's okay sometimes. We burn a lot of calories exercising so I'm not worried about it. Uh, and this is kind of just an extreme example of one of my less unhealthy eating days. But the variety is key. Variety is a spice of life, right? And the whole idea is that if you're eating a calorie and uh, from a product that's highly refined highly processed and you're eating just a lot of refined sugar or a lot of refined flours and stuff or refined oils uh, you're getting a lot of calories but there's not very many vitamins uh, like vitamin b12 or something like that uh, folate b6 i believe uh, and you're not hydrating very much you're not getting very much fiber you're not getting a good blend of high quality proteins right amino acids being the the building blocks of proteins so they're kind of viewed as empty calories and that's kind of where the term comes from so it really depends on the exact ingredients and kind of the timing and how your body responds to them your activity level uh your dna and how things react with the metabolism but uh more on that later i gotta go run actually i gotta take my car in for some service but we'll run back from there so we'll get some exercising in stay hungry all right so i dropped my car off here at the shop needs a lot of work done but we're gonna run back home, get in my morning run. Hey guys, don't worry, I'm vegan, I'm not gonna eat you. It's alright, you have a good day, let me scare you. Oh, what a beautiful day out. The snow's clear from the path mostly, it's sunny, not too windy. Sponsor plugs, got my camelback vest on, Roca Halsey Shades. Check out our landing page. Coach Shannon and I have a landing page. Get a discount on Roca sunglasses. Hoka One One Rihi Shoes. Wow, all right, back at the apartment now. Nice little, uh, about a five mile, eight kilometer run back from the auto shop. And uh, 
Hopefully I don't have to run back and get my car today saying you'll be able to give me a, a lift back. But I could run twice today, but right now we're gonna do some flexibility mobility drills and then probably later this afternoon, I'll get into my glute strength, uh, hamstring activation, calf, uh, exercises, more gym work, so to speak, although it's in the studio apartment here, to burn some more calories. And I'm getting hungry because it's almost lunchtime. Uh, but you can check out the run data there on Strava, see the stats there. Actually, follow our 5K, 10K challenge. We got a challenge for you in May. If you sign up for it now, you could get a discount on our training plans, 5K, 10K, higher running training plans. Check out our club and the event on the Strava there. I'll link to it in the description below. But you could see, thanks to all those that have signed up, uh, that is a business plug. And yeah, you can follow us on social at higher running now that's the coaching business that coach sandy and i uh, run and sell training plans at for any service any distance thanks all right do these stretches get some lunch i'm getting hungry drinking oj out of the carton mm -mm -mm. i love oj 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 down it goes down into my belly Lunchtime. All right, for lunch, we're gonna have a cheesy bagel with some dijon mustard dijon dijon it's french i believe pronouncing it wrong probably. Dijon mustard on a bagel, a bagel, a nice white flour bagel, good carb up. We're gonna put a little margarine on it because we're gonna toast it in the oven. Now, I have this mozzarella vegan cheese, so to speak, and I guess it is cashew based. Most of the best vegan cheeses are nut based, almond or cashew. Uh, usually is a little oily though, not real great, but uh, we're gonna put some avocado on there as well. Might as well up the fat. And I'm gonna cheat actually. I'm gonna cheat because I'm gonna eat something healthy. Usually if I was eating a regular lunch, I'd probably have a side salad or some vegetables, but uh, we're gonna take a bite of this bell pepper. Mmm, mmm, that is delicious. I love bell peppers, it's so good. So it's too healthy though, we're cheating. Throw away. We gotta save that for another day. Back in the fridge you go, stay fresh. That is a good sized bagel. It's not gluten free. It's full of the gluten. Carb up. Putting some margarine on. Good old margarine. That'll melt in the oven. Add the cheese. Say cheese. Ooh, gotta pull it out before it burns. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, it melted kind of. Good. Nice melty cheese. We've gotta add some toppings now. All right, let's add some mustard. Dijon mustard going on. Love mustard cheese combination. Oh, that's quite a bit actually. So there we go. Cheesy melt sandwich with mustard, avocado. If I was being healthy, I'd usually add a side salad, uh, maybe that red bell pepper, but we're cheating today. We're eating unhealthy, so we're not gonna have all those vegetables. However, I will top it with this essential fatty oil. Uh, again, don't eat much fat, but these are the few fats that I really actually need. Uh, ALA, DHA, oil blend, essential fatty acids, little topping on there. It'll add some extra calories, and I'll take my usual vitamins, my vitamins. I do supplement with these B12 gummies. They taste like candy, they're delicious. And a magnesium pill. Consult your doctor before trying anything new. This advice is not meant to treat, prevent, or cure any disease. All right, let's dig in. Vitamin B12, going down the hatch. That's essential as well. I do like vitamin B12. It's healthy. All right, time to chow down on my bagels. Oh yes, and to drink, I'm gonna have this strange beast, hard kombucha. Uh, yeah, it's five o'clock somewhere. Not sponsored, this is not an Avery, but uh, yeah, kombucha's healthy, right? So it's almost 5 p.m. now, and I've been doing some work on the laptop, but I need a pick-me-up, and so it is cookie and afternoon coffee time. Might as well just finish this box off here, so I'll have the last cookie with my coffee. Here we go, little afternoon snack. Afternoon pick-me-up. All right, so out for an evening run. Second run of the day. I wasn't planning on running twice today, but uh, Sandy couldn't give me a ride, so gotta run back, pick up the car from the shop. Little side note, this is gonna cost me like over a thousand dollars in repairs. Dang internal combustion engines, right? Maybe we could get a Tesla to sponsor me. That'd be great, right? All right, let's get up there, 
Getting hungry, working up an appetite for dinner though. So it's dinner time now, and I went to Bumbling Bee, the Bumbling Bee of Boulder. Vegan junk food bar is actually what it's called. And I've done some reviews on this on my regular channel, Sage Canada. Uh, I got the peanut butter chocolate fudge milkshake. This is all vegan, but it's vegan junk food. I got the holy shiitake, holy shiitake burger. Check that out. It's got the french fries on it. It's got a arugula, Ooh, some greens, some vegetables, some cheesy sauce. Homemade uh, black bean burger bun as well. And cheesy potatoes as a side. Nice cheesy potatoes. Ooh, can't get them in focus there. Then, to drink, besides some milkshake, we're going to indulge in a special Avery Brewing beer. Avery Brewing, as you know, a uh, sponsor of mine out of Boulder, Colorado. Specialize in craft beer. Uh, this is a pair of peaches. This is a real special one. Real, one of my favorites. Imperial IPA, hazy IPA, infused with some peaches. Uh, very hoppy, very delicious. Love the Avery Brewing. Beer with my burger, and that is my junk food dinner tonight. And dessert, for that matter. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious milkshake. I love the milkshakes from Bumbling Bee. Check them out. Social media tag there. Not sponsored. But anyway, this wraps up this video of what I eat in a day. Junk food edition. Again, vegan junk food called a cheat day. And I'm using this in quotations. These are my quotations. Uh, because I feel like in the endurance community, diet, nutrition, it's a very sensitive topic. It's very sensitive and it's very important. And I don't mean to be, uh, you know, making this video. This video is made kind of in humor uh, and kind of making fun, I guess, of this whole vlog style and letting you know that I do eat unhealthy and I do realize it a lot of times. And I don't view things as cheat days or cheat meals or, or cheat treats or something like that because I believe if you're burning enough calories, you're exercising a lot, you could fuel uh, your body with a variety of things. Now, obviously avoiding highly refined foods, refined sugar, uh, things, excess calories, alcohol that you don't need as an athlete uh, is probably good, especially for long-term health. And I don't mean to be uh, making too much light of the situation. Also, I know in endurance communities, uh, disordered eating is very, uh, there's, there's a lot of cases going on and it's a struggle for a lot of people, uh, not eating enough calories to fuel your body, uh, but also just uh, unhealthy eating habits. And a lot of that ties into mental health as well. And it's a very serious issue, uh, but something that you wanna look into fueling your body with uh, a lot of antioxidants, a lot of vitamins and nutrients and eating whole foods Plant-based, I've found that you eat a lot of antioxidants like vitamin C, you're getting minerals, uh, folate, things like that, staying hydrated, right? Uh, getting in a lot of fiber. That helps with inflammation, it helps with recovery, it helps fuel your body. You wanna get in enough calories, enough amino acid blend to have complete proteins to uh, repair your muscles, right? Protein synthesis, and to stay hydrated throughout the day um, is very important. And I think the, the key takeaway here to end this video is looking at what uh, nutrient density you're getting per calorie. So you're not eating a whole lot of empty calories, refined sugars, sodas, ice cream, stuff like that, but you're eating uh, sources that have a lot of these vitamins and minerals uh, per calorie. And a lot of those are in actually fruits and vegetables, whole sources, less processed foods. So thanks for watching this video. Again, check out my other day, what I eat in a day videos for more average days. If I do more of these, uh, thanks so much for all your support on here. Thanks to the Patreon supporters for really making this channel possible. Again, shout out to title sponsor, Hoka One One. Keeping the dream alive, more training vlogs and updates and training talks coming your way. Hope you're doing well. Stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.